Greetings, my wonderful students. Today, we learn about relations among the states. Article 6 of the Constitution says, States must give full faith and credit to the laws, records, and court decisions of other states. States must give each other's citizens all the privileges and immunities of their own citizens to prevent discrimination between one state and another. States must also extradite criminals and fugitives who flee across state lines to escape justice. Extradition means returning those criminals to the state which they committed the crime in. Full faith and credit. States must recognize laws and legal proceedings of all other states. This only applies to civil law, however. One state cannot enforce another's criminal laws. Public acts means civil laws. Records means documents such as mortgages, deeds, leases, wills, etc. And judicial proceedings means various court actions such as judgment to pay a debt. So in effect, what this means is, if you're married in one state, you're married in another state. If you have a driver's license in one state, you can drive in another state. However, if you commit a crime in New York State, Vermont cannot be forced to put you in jail or put you on trial for that. It's a New York State law you've broken. You must go back to New York State to be put on trial. Privileges and immunities. A state may not discriminate unreasonably against citizens of another state. There is no complete list of privileges and immunities, but included are the right to pass through any state, to live in any state, to marry in a state, to buy and sell and hold property in the state. Now, a state may reasonably discriminate against other state citizens. For example, you can't vote in Pennsylvania because you don't live in Pennsylvania. You can't hunt in Pennsylvania unless you buy a Pennsylvanian hunting license or fishing license, etc. Or if you're going to go to school in Pennsylvania, you've got to pay fees for the Pennsylvania school system. All of those are considered reasonably discriminating behaviors. Extradition. This was created to stop a criminal from fleeing justice by moving to another state. Governors are responsible for returning fugitives. Now, the Supreme Court has said that you can't force the state of New York to return a criminal to Vermont or whatever. So, Congress closed that loophole by making it a federal crime to flee to another state to escape prosecution. So if you commit a crime here in New York and then you run to Pennsylvania, you could face charges in federal court for crossing state lines to do this, as well as facing charges in New York State for the crime you originally committed. Now, interstate compacts. That's a pretty picture, isn't it? Mmm, I'm thirsty. States must settle problems without the use of force. Compacts are agreements between the states and must be approved by Congress. Some states have used compacts to deal with air and water pollution, pest control, toll bridges, and transportation. Now, if states are unable to resolve their disputes, they must go to the U.S. Supreme Court. Court cases between the states usually involve water rights over, say, like Lake Champlain, if there's an issue between us and Vermont, pollution of the water, and boundary disputes, amongst other things. And that is the end of this particular lesson.